Um, okay, so now we've got the basic definitions of each one. We can use these definitions to identify what the formula will be. I'm actually going to make this table a little bit bigger uh, so we can have a bit more space to write, it, write on stuff. So let's start at the current. If current is the rate of flow of charge, it's the amount of charge uh, traveled in, um, in a second, or we could say it's the charge per second. So therefore, we could say that I which is weirdly enough, the unit of current is equal to the amount of charge, which is Q, um, between uh, um, that's passed by a point in a certain time, T. So charge per second, charge per time. So that's the formula to calculate current, charge divided by time. This could be rearranged, and we'll look at, look at that in a moment. So... So we know, so the voltage is a difference in energy per charge. By the way, we can say difference in, we can write it as the user triangle. So with this one here, sometimes we write current as um, the current is equal to the difference in charge divided by the difference in time. So sometimes you'll see these weird little triangles. It's a Greek letter, um, just like we have um, letters, um, A, B, C, D, E. W, we have some letters that have got like a long name, and this one is delta, and this is a Greek letter. And sometimes in physics, you run out of letters of the alphabet um, to, to name things, so you use letters from other languages. So if you're interested as well, that's, that's capital delta, and that's lowercase delta. So the, um, the, the formula for voltage, energy per charge, so voltage is going to be the change in energy over a change in charge. In fact, I don't think you'd use delta there, actually, over um, per a particular amount of charge. Now, let's go to um, resistance. Resistance is it's how difficult it is for um, current to flow. So if you apply a certain voltage, you, the more energy you give some charge, the more it's going to be able to flow more quickly. But if, in some cases, even if you give something a lot of energy, it still won't flow that quickly. And that's because it's difficult for the charge to flow. So the, uh, the, voltage, the resistance can be calculated by the voltage per current. Okay, so those are the, that's, those are the three formulae. And um, as you can see, we're not going to do the formulae for the other three, but we needed to define them because they came up in these three main formulae that we're, that we're looking. By the way, when I say formulae, and I'm pronouncing it a bit weird, that's just the plural of formula. So we say one formula or two formulae, and it's spelled like that. Okay, so we're gonna um, stop the video there, then we're gonna do a little bit of practice of using these different formulae.